evening all so welcome everyone to episode 43 shark attack case files today we're going to look at an attack which happened in western australia it's funny i should be doing this video because there was actually a fatality uh yesterday i think in the swan river also in perth so that's uh ironic but yeah but i won't speculate on what happened there I, it's, it was a young girl jumped off a jet ski to swim with some dolphins got killed by a shark but i know nothing else but anyway we're going to look at an attack which happened just off wedge island up here and then we we already looked at two attacks that happened on surfers uh jev and wright and what's that other cat's name yeah cameron Byers and jev and wright episode 39 and then episode what was it eight Jeff Brazier. That attack happened just up here. Fucking hell, I get seasick. Yeah, that Jeff Brazier attack was just up here. Anyway, we're going to look at this attack. Which happened just off Wedge Island. Just off here. So just some quick statistics, there's been 26 fatalities in Western Australia, mainly Great Whites. Uh, the last attack was, was yesterday. Previous to that, it was the Simon Nallis attack, obviously, 2022 in February. And the last fatality in Western Australia, previous to the one yesterday, was 2021. And I just knocked out some stats here for fatalities in Australia. Obviously, we had... I've had one attack, one fatality in 2023 already. Uh, 2022, there was just one attack. It's the, obviously the Nallis attack. Then in subsequent years, you can see the frequency of attacks does vary. Sort of like loads in 2024 and 2021, then single figures, two, five, two, two, four, one. So you, you always get attack, you always get fatalities every year in Australia, basically. Um, it's nothing more to say, but the average, I guess, what's the, what's the average of that? like 2.6 I guess something like that um, looks like a shark's fin that wow anyway surfing stats um, the last surfer killed in Australia was 2021 um, last fatality was yesterday mainly great whites there's been two predations on surfers witnessed which is the ones which is the Jevon Wright and the camera buyers attacks there's been 62 fatalities on surface globally um so you can see the frequency of surface attacks to fatalities is about 10 percent i think when i done that video episode 39 someone mentioned in the comments that this attack i'm gonna go through in this video should have been in that video because it was a predation but there's a reason i didn't put it in that video is because it wasn't it wasn't 100 conclusive but i'll go into it uh, just a couple of quick what I like to call science slides uh, so I, it's quite weird how you get like a movement of great whites up the western coast of Australia and they, they always seem to loop back and come back again uh, I'm not sure if they go into these warmer waters to feed or you know what is the reason for it it's a lot of speculation one, one of them being they follow humpback whale migrations who move um, in the summer to the winter from Antarctica up to the, up the coast Western Australia, so that's that's one theory. I mean, do they do they go into the warmer waters to give birth or to breed or whatever? I don't know. There's been a lot of tracking done on sharks. It's like cumulatively, there's like 200,000 miles cumulatively of, of great white sharks tracked from like 2008 onwards. And there's some interesting um, findings for some of these tracking studies. Is that they, that these southern western populations don't mix often with the eastern populations i know we've done some stuff uh, off new zealand chatham island these distinct populations and how they how they move into the pacific and back again and then these sharks here tend to either move up the coast here or they've even gone as far as south africa but there there's little genetic mixing between the two populations and you can see some of these movements here and they also reckon that some of these large female great whites um they only they're mainly they mainly stay 12 kilometers offshore uh, at a depth of around two 200 meters so water depth so they don't actually mix with humans very often they spend the bulk of their time offshore and you can see some of these tracks and they also reckon that 
The sharks possibly follow fracture lines on the sea sea floor or like uh, geological markers, um, different different geological markers like scours and yeah d different things and they, they potentially could use them as roadmaps but that, obviously that's just speculation but you can see you can see the movements up the coast and yeah very interesting stuff but anyway just diving into this attack so this attack took place july the 14th on a saturday 2012 uh ben lyden 24 he was surfing he was he was attacked and, and killed by a five meter 16 foot great white at nine o'clock in the morning and yeah just as i mentioned it happened just south of wedge island north north of perth western australia uh, he was in about nine feet of water it's about three meters he was about 90 meters offshore at 98 yards it's a waning crescent moon water temperature there is about 21 degrees um 70 fahrenheit fatal predation he was surfing with his friend ryan solace yeah so get into the narrative uh these guys uh ben and ryan they traveled up from perth in the morning so drove up they parked their car um just outside this shooting range and they sort of walked up and then back down to the beach about 500 meters and they started surfing they surfed for about an hour um and then they stopped surfing and they were just sitting on their boards about 100 meters north of them these guys uh matthew and nathan were also surfing but they had a jet ski so what i think matthew was at the time of the attack matthew was pulling nathan out on his board and he was surfing back in so slightly different methodology i guess so yeah so ben and ryan have been surfing for about an hour and they stopped and they were just sitting on their boards about 90 meters offshore so yeah 98 yards offshore so they were just sitting on their boards just chatting away i guess having a break and it's at this point they actually noticed a large shark sort of traveling below their boards so i don't know they didn't panic or anything so they just made their way in and the, the shark sort of went underneath them and sort of circled ryan sort of once but it actually came alongside ryan's board as he was going in and it was so close that the shark sort of expelled water out of his mouth and his gills because his, his gills half of his gills were out, out of the water and it actually sprayed him with water I've, I've, I've never heard that but that is that is creepy i'll say that and then the shark saw submerged went round again but then this time it went straight for ben's board and at this point ben was like kneeling on his board to sort of i guess meet the shark but then the shark sort of attacked him and like took him in his in his mouth so like ben was sort of like feet first in the shark's mouth and the shark was like biting down and it, it removed his right leg and most of his left leg and then sort of expelled him from his mouth obviously just to let him bleed out which is obviously a classic hunting strategy for large great whites because they, they don't want to injure themselves and while I guess Ben was bleeding out in the water sort of face down Ryan had been sort of pushed in to the shore by the surf and then Matt and Nathan were, were just a little bit up the coast so Matt quickly took Nathan to shore using his jet ski and then he circled round to see if he could help Ben who was like laying face down in the water so Matt, Matt said there's blood everywhere and he tried to get alongside Ben's body but the shark came in and sort of got between him and the body so he circled around again on his jet ski for the second time but this time the shark actually like a bit more territorial behavior it actually hit his jet ski basically telling him to you know leave his kill alone and as he sort of circled around again on the jet ski he said he saw the shark take the remains of uh, ben's body in his mouth and then just head head into sort of deeper water and then he obviously went to shore and they called the uh, i think it's zero 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 in australia uh and then the police came they they searched for like three days they all they found was uh ben's surfboard which was uh had 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 bite marks in it as well and that was further corroborated that it was a large great white by um you know the pathology report and you know the inquest was heard and he died of misadventure due to shark attack um yeah the body was never found obviously and there was a, there was this shark had been in the area previously so for like four to four or five days before the attack they had actually people had seen this shark but i don't think it was reported to authorities but the lo local surfers 
had named it Brutus. Um, yeah, and that area is, is is also well known for sharks. But yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, I didn't I didn't include this in episode thirty nine just because those other two attacks in episode thirty nine they actually saw the the people being eaten in front of them. But this this shark did take the remains of Ben into deeper water to I guess you know consume the rest of him, finish off the kill. And it's interesting as well. This is this is classic hunting behavior i read an article recently where they were saying that sharks do two dummy runs before they do an attack so they'll do one run where they'll they'll like rehearse the the, the the hit they go again and then the third time is when they'll actually attack and this is kind of what happened here it sort of circled ryan uh, uh, twice then on the third time it, it went it went for ben and killed him so yeah classic behavior and then it swam off while he was bleeding out and yeah because it takes like around two minutes to bleed out but hopefully yeah, I don't I think this guy would have died probably of hy hypervolic shock just because he he was bitten in half basically in that initial attack so yeah absolutely savage and that that thing about the shark sort of going alongside Ryan's board and spraying him with uh water Tch. screw that anyway yeah so yeah and then that that other fatality yesterday just off uh, just off Perth yeah just in here I, I mean I won't I won't speculate on it but be interested to see what species of shark it is but anyway hope you enjoyed that video laters